Uh, one of the questions I'm asked the most, above anything, that's including how I was appointing Mike to work with, is how I got started in the custom paint. Well, it goes back to when I was like seven or eight years old, and my parents went on vacation to the beach, and they came back with a bag of sand uh, full of uh, seashells and this T-shirt. This T-shirt had a beach scene airbrushed on it, had my name scripted out on it. And I thought it was the coolest thing I ever saw. Um, I fixated on this T-shirt till I grew older. And uh, my dad was stationed in Germany at the time. The art teacher there at the, the high school in Frankfurt was a renowned illustration artist. And one of his, part of his curriculum for the other half of the year of art class was A, weed out all the dummies from the art class and whoever was left over, those are the ones that he introduced to airbrushing. So that's how I got my fixation uh, about learning to airbrush was when I was a kid with a t-shirt and then my high school teacher. Everything after that has been self-taught. I didn't really uh, work with anybody or um, work for anybody that would teach me. I did have a mentor in Texas. Uh, his name's David Ham, And uh, to this day, I can still hear, hear him saying this in my head. Um, he worked at Toyota of Clean, and he was the head painter there. And he's a collision. So everything was flag hours. It was commission. So if anything got messed up, it came out of his pocket. Um, I did a few jobs around Clean, and he was the one clear coating them. And after a, I did a tailgate for a guy, and didn't prep the tailgate, I just airbrushed it. And I took it to Dave and said, Dave, I need you to clear this. He's like, boy, you didn't sand it. That's why I, I didn't know I needed to sand it. I was just airbrushing at the time. And uh, he said, all right, never mind, I'll take care of it. And after that tailgate, he said, boy, I think you need to come down here and, and hang out. But understand, you don't touch anything, you don't sand anything, you don't <laughs> wipe anything, you don't, you, don't, you don't touch anything. Sit your ass in that corner, boy, and watch. Everyone else that I had approached till then had told me, no, go away, don't come around. I don't want to teach you anything. I'm teaching my competition by letting you learn. Dave didn't give a damn because I wasn't going to do collision. So he let me watch. And from that experience, I basically learned everything I needed to know to start doing it legitimately for myself. And that's how I got started.